questions already, so I will limit mine to some key items. First item, I would like to thank the numerous citizens of Cornwall who have worked for many years in the planning of the redevelopment of the waterfront in Cornwall. <laughs> Their vision of a sustainable waterfront for La Village and Cornwall is under the greatest of challenges right now. Please do not give up this fight. Here are my questions. Uh, this first question would be to Councillor Murphy. Uh, at some time, can you let us know what will be the tax benefit to the city of Cornwall of these storage tanks? I can look into that for you. I don't have that answer right here. Thank you. This one would probably take a little bit of time. Um, second item, uh, this one would also be for Chuck and Mr. Murphy, but Councilor Murphy. I brought with me today a drawing <coughs> over the corner that was done by McGill University on behalf of the city of Cornwall. And in this drawing, it shows townhomes and a working residential marina right where the storage tanks are being built right now. So my question is, Chuck, was this plan ever adopted under some policy by the city of Cornwall? Thank you for that, uh, Bob. Uh, here's what I know. First of all, we're uh, we Renaissance are in the business of trying to promote development and those types of things. So over the years we've been proactive in doing designs. We actually have two designs that were done for the harbor in 2006 and in 2013, this last June. We have also held numerous public meetings and what we leave those meetings with and what we try and do is reflect what people want. And it changes as years go by. You know, it's just natural, but residential has always been a component. People want to be near the water. Uh, the key for the city is to make sure that that's done properly. You don't want to have too much residential and then the public has no access. We're defeating our purpose. But it's, so it's the right blend. So I, if that answers your question, uh, I think I can say that uh, for our group, we're trying to, um, what's the word I'll use? Best use. What's the best use for those lands for the majority of the community? I would agree with you, Chuck, uh, with the term the best use. And that we do not ignore the funds and consultant expenditures that the city of Cornwall and the citizens of Cornwall have gone through for studies such as that one for best use of land. Uh, my next question. Besides the construction of tanks, what is the plan? This one will be directed to Doug, if you could do your best to try to find this information. What is the plan for the piping and unloading of the calcium chloride from the ships that will be delivering this product? Are we to see a pipeline across the waterfront, which will also have a dramatic effect on our waterfront with restriction and no access? and visual implications. Uh, with respect to that, uh, I, I, I'm confident that, that there will be a pipeline of some kind. I am in no position and I don't want to speculate and I don't want to somehow uh, make promises or, or make large remarks about that. I will though undertake to ascertain what the delivery mechanism is and uh, what, what is being proposed. My concern uh, as a citizen and taxpayer here in the community is we need to not only know about the tanks, but how is this product being moved across the land? Okay, it could be twice as much of an impact. And I can tell you, based upon my information, and I agree from the gentleman from Belleville, I believe it was, uh, calcium chloride is a contaminant and no different than petroleum and should be considered a hazard to the community. I have discussed this with my environmental consultant and he has confirmed my suspicions. If this product and the potential for contamination in the future from spillage 
is very possible on this site. My next question. This will be your last question. This will be my last question. Okay. <laughs> will there be, this is to Doug, will there be a fence installed across the front of this property right to the waterfront? And how will this impact the movement within the community? Uh, I, again, I, I, I have visited the site with Mr. Lozon. There currently is a fence. Um, I, I'm not going to pretend that I know what is going to happen, but I think it's fair to say the property would need to be fenced off. There are pretty large holes in the ground, um, and you'd have to have some way to restrict access and prevent accident, accident and otherwise. So, but, but I'm not going to suggest I know what kind of fence or what height or what design. My knowledge of fences is that this fence would have to be signed as to hazardous conditions, keep out, etc. Not a very inviting environment for the citizens along the waterfront. Thank you.